O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Hallelujah. Today's Mass is offered for the repulsed soul of Antonio Mirano by family. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to receive for us, Lord have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy, and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. But Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first. But since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe. And the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshippers and the leading men of the city, stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas, and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy in the Holy Spirit, the word of the Lord. <clears throat> All, all the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness, his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving, the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples. And if you know the truth, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. To you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, if you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, do you know him and have seen him? Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father and what will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you would not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father, and whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We often ask ourselves if we have encountered God in some way. And the answer should always be, well, yes. Through our baptism, we are in Christ. So if we're in Christ, we're in the Father. The thing is, do we reflect this on our daily? Do we easily show to other people that we represent Jesus Christ and what he stands for? Or do we give into our earthly ideals even some that we may deem christian end up just being a facade of christianity what is the christianity and whose house do we belong into this weekend we'll hear about entering 
Last week we heard about entering that gate, which is Jesus. And this next weekend, tomorrow, we'll hear about belonging to Jesus. How do we know that we belong to the Father and that we have seen the Father if we cannot act like it? Let us take this time to reflect on our actions and our words so that we may be able to be reflections of our Heavenly Father. So are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands will become for us a spiritual drink. Humble spirit, now contrary heart, and we exit up by you, O Lord, and your sacrifice in your sight to the day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good for all his church. Amen. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom you, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gain for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And gave me thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with friends, our Pope, Immaculate Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may marry to be co heirs in eternal life, may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. So we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So the rest of the Lord, we pray from every evil, grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace to grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, full of him who takes away the sins of the world. Those are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive that you only say your word, and my word in my soul shall be healed. that where I am and those you gave me may also be with you, that they may see the glory that you gave me, hallelujah. Let us pray. May I partake of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what you, Son, commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. And may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace as Mass ascended. Thanks be to God.